Hello and share and welcome to the 20th week of YouTube Pagan Challenge. I am aware that I'm a bit behind and I'll try to catch up this week. Today's questions is about familiar spirit animals and totem animals. So first of all, I had my totem animal read by a shaman. I'm not going to share all nine of them, but my center animal is the elk, which is being said the animal of those who have been royalty in, in past life. Do, do I have the features of royalty? I don't know. Anyway, and that means that I know how to pace myself. I know how to... Uh, I might not get first in a race, but I, I would get to the end of the rope without tiring myself completely, which is a true medicine. I know how to conserve resources. And my east animal is a spider. And the spider medicine, some tribes consider this tribe to be a trickster or a satanic spirit. But the, the spider de facto weaves a large web and, you know, it, it captures in his web resources where it needs to use. And this is how he or, or she gains longevity. Okay, now, uh, I have other power animals. One of my power animals is the octopus and the other power animal is and, and it's I, I will show you in a second that i have a pro that even though i love the octopus i have one missing so i will tell you where and i love walk and i have familiars which i am not i have familiar spirits which i'm not in in title to speak of so i i can tell you i have them and the rest of it you know figure it out on your own what, but my walk with animals goes much farther than that. I have a giant collection of Hopi Kachina dolls that some of the Kachinas are animals, and I have a large collection of Zuni fetishes. And I have Zuni fetishes of dinosaurs and everything, but I don't have a Zuni fetish of an octopus. So help me find my missing friend. I really would like to have a Zuni octopus fetish. But I've brought some of my octopus, uh, sorry, some of my Zuni fetish animals to show to you. Well, the, the, uh, there are six directions in the Zuni medicine wheel, and uh, I, I've brought you the the animals that are in the in the protective and animals uh, cycle. Okay, in the west there is the bear. Yes, and I am aware this is quite a big alabaster bear. For Zuni fetishes, it's a big, big fetish. It has an offering of an arrow, and it has an offering of some turquoise on his neck. It's a chunk of turquoise and like some turquoise powder in his mouth. And this animal fetish made from alabaster and heishi, you see this, it's called the heishi shells, or maybe I'm not mispronouncing it, because I only read this word, word before. It's unsigned. But uh, bears are very good for healing. You can use the bear fetish for healing, and I use them for healing spells. Okay, so this is the east animal. Um, the north animal is the is the mountain lion. This mountain lion is carved from turquoise and has a heart line that shows where the heart is, showing that this animal, that this fetish is powerful and loved. It's turquoise with some red coral, and uh, the mountain lion helps for leadership, helps for, you know, it's a good hunting charm, it helps do a lot of things. Needless to say that I'm maintaining my animals well fed and taken care of, and you know, I, I commune with the spirits every once in a while. And this uh, mountain lion, by the way, was made by uh, Andras Kudelensi. Again, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing the names. You can find, I'm just telling you the names in case that you want to buy some. But Zuni fetishes are expensive. It's not a cheap art. So if you want to invest in, in a set for your, for your uh, magic, go right ahead. I'm all for it. The East is the wolf. And this is... Uh, twin wolves mates from antler that they have turquoise eyes look i'm trying to hold this in a way that you'll see it properly this is one side this is the other side and this is the front and this is the back look can you see the woolly tails okay this is a twin wolves and those are protective animals 
because they hunt in groups and also the wolf is considered a great teacher so you can connect to it if it's spirit then this was made by Max Lat his name is Max L A A L double A L double A T E Max Lat he makes many uh, antler carved animals with great precision and this is one of my favorite this is the stuff this is the badger the badger is a strong warrior animal this one was made by adrian caccini i think and it has a little feather and it has a, a bit of turquoise and a bit of uh, coral it's made from a uh, uh, picasso uh, marble and actually this was one of my first fetishes and i'm very much in love with this one specifically and the uh, it has jet eyes jet black eyes and i bet this is real jet because they had access to jet and the battle helps you not only to fight your battles but it's a it helps shamans to get the herbs and materials they need to make their medicine so it's it, it's a good an animal to uh, connect to your inner medicine and you know understand and you know to consult with what to put in an amulet or a charm or a spell it's a very wise animal and it's also a very aggressive animal so again it's a very protective animal now the two directions left are be and you know down and this is i don't remember who carved this one this is a mole this is the animal of down and it's uh, it also it has a heart line and it protects fields and crops I see it as, as, as something that protects one against poverty okay and there is up and up is the eagle and this eagle is made from pipestone which is a very sacred stone for Native Americans and I don't remember who the one that carved it there is a signature but anyway it's an artist that makes say uh, his carvings very expensive but this one was with a broken beak. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? It's b a beak got broken while it's coming, so it was so it was on sale, and I bought it very cheaply. And I don't mind when they get injured because for me they're not losing their magic power if they get injured. They still require love. Animals do get injured. Not every animal you will find in nature is perfect. And and I find and you know an, an eagle is helping to connect with the great spirit and astral projecting and stuff. And I would like to see more witches, you know, especially witches that have the money to get some Zuni animals or you know find some Zuni animal fetishes that were carved by the fetish carving families to use them. And I was actually introduced to the to the notion that you can use them by Judica Ellis in her book of. Uh, you know 5,000 spells but ever since then I just fell in love with those animals and I care for them and love them as I would anyone you know anything so that's one of my power animals and this was made for me by Shaloya this is Shaloya is my friend she's here on YouTube I found this wing after cats ate the bird, I found this wing and I wing and you know it was attached to another wing. When cats, when they eat a, a pigeon, the two wings are left. So I took the two wings, I put them in salt, I I dry them, and Shaloya made the hanger for the for me. With uh, uh, this is the tooth of a water buffalo. This is a curio hand of a gator, which I had to glue because it it constantly fell off. And this is uh, a seashell that I found and it's hanging in my room and it's a protective item okay so I really like to work with animals and animal parts and with I, I, I like animal magic in general so yes I have my fetishes and, and my guards all around me and they make me feel very I feel that the more I'm being connected to my animals, I'm also more connected to my humanity because my humanity is based on the fact that I'm an animal. And so is part of my magic. And I know that in many cases I stand alone, but this is it. Okay, so this was week 28. Thank you. Goodbye, Nashe.